Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This time, I don't have a vlog for you, but I decided to make like a sit down video where I kind of just like talk. Well, it's a 30 facts about me video, so I'll just tell you 30 random facts. Some of them are really weird about me because I thought it would be fun, maybe interesting, and you can like get to know me better. So let's start with fact number one. My full name is Julia Cecilia Janke. It's so weird to say my last name in English. I have lots of nicknames. My sister Janine gave me like a dozen nicknames. She literally could write a book with nicknames for me, like Host, Hosty. She used to call me Embryo for a while. She used to call me Fetus. She's really weird. <laughs> So one of the nicknames was Jules, so everyone in high school used to call me Jules. That's why my instant Instagram name is Jules Cecilia. When I was little, before we went from kindergarten to primary school in Germany, we would have to do like a test where they would see how mature we are or how intelligent. I don't know. There's two facts coming out of this actually. One is, <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing, but I was only like six, so I don't think it should be embarrassing. I couldn't tell the difference between blue and red and we would have to tie like this plastic shoe and she would ask me oh what color do you want to take home and I would say red but I actually wanted blue and I still remember this and it really made me upset and for probably like from five to six years old like I couldn't tell the difference between blue and red well like I saw it I'm not colorblind but I just like the words were so difficult for me and actually Janine had the same thing for green and yellow so maybe there's something wrong with our genes I don't know the other fact that's coming out of it is that my kindergarten teacher said that I should stay in kindergarten for an extra year because she didn't think I was ready for school but my parents sent me to school anyway. Fact number four, I actually have glasses but I only wear them for when I'm driving. I don't wear them a lot and sometimes I forget them when I drive which is dangerous so I should really wear them more often. <laughs> I don't wear contact lenses because they like hurt my eye. They irritate me so bad. I have another fact. When I was 15, I had a really bad eye infection like with my eyelid and I went to the eye doctor and that was fine and then I had another one when I was older and I went to the eye doctor again and then because I was in so much pain, I fell off the chair and I went unconscious. <laughs> So ever since then, I'm like terrified when I have anything in my eye. It's really scary for me. I would definitely say I'm a summer person, but I also love winter because I love the colder days or the rainy days when you're just in bed, like cuddled up and it's so cozy. And I definitely love those, but overall I would say I'm a warm summer person. My favorite sound in the whole entire world is to hear waves crashing on the shore. And I just think it's such a calming sound. And especially when you stay somewhere where you can hear the ocean and you can fall asleep sleep to the ocean. I think that's such a beautiful thing to listen to when you're falling asleep and it's so calming and relaxing and just completely clears your mind and I love that sound. Recently I've realized that one day when I have a house I will make one wall a pink wall and it will be like an Instagram wall so that every day I can just go outside and take a picture in front of that wall because I love pink walls like baby pink. I want that in my life. My name was picked by both my mom and my dad. So my first name, Julia, was picked by my dad. It's really boring. I don't actually like it. I think Julia is such a boring name. And Cecilia is the name that my mom picked because her friend was called Cecilia, I think. And my mom offered me if I wanted to change my name to Cecilia because I don't think she likes my first name either. <laughs> Which is kind of rude. When I was younger, I always wanted to have an older brother and not a sister because I just thought that he could have like hot friends and they would like come over. Maybe I kind of still want it, but Janine's also fine, I guess. She's okay. My biggest, biggest fear, as in like physical fear, are spiders. It used to be so bad that when I would see a spider on the TV, I would start to cry, like actually cry. It was just on the TV and I would cry and burst out into tears and I was just sitting there like this, like crying and I would tell the person like sitting there, I was like, turn off the TV! It's not that I'm scared, but they like gross me out. Like I just think they're so disgusting, like the hair. Ugh. And also just other like insects that like crawl. If they're in the house, like I could never live by myself because if they were in the house, I wouldn't be able to go inside. I would have to like sleep out Outside, build up a tent and just sleep in front of my doorstep because I couldn't go inside and I could never remove it myself. I always need to call someone. I, I'm always like, Jane, remove it! It's ridiculous. I changed school seven times in my life. I went to five different schools and that was because I moved or because of like other reasons that I changed school. I had a really good like high school. I used to live in Asia for three years when I was 
11 to 14 because of my dad's job we moved to a country called Brunei and I used to hate it at the time and I didn't like it at all and I thought it was a really miserable place <laughs> but looking back at it now it was such a great experience and without that experience I would have never been where I am today and I'm so thankful that it has happened even though at the time it may have seemed like a really bad time but in the end something great came out of it and I'm so thankful for it when I go to bed, I love sleeping super cold. So I love making my room like freezing cold, like leaving windows open, putting the fan on so that I can like cuddle up my blanket. Ever since I moved out, I've found my passion. It's doing laundry. I love doing laundry. I'm the perfect person to live with. I do everyone's laundry in this household. I love separating the colors, putting them into the washing machine, hanging them up. Every summer, we have always gone to Italy, Lake Garda, and we always go to the same place, which is the place that my parents met, actually. So that's funny. I never broke any bones in my life. I never had anything like that, so I was really lucky. In my whole entire life, <laughs> I have only been on a one Tinder date in my life. Well, like that was my own. I've been on a lot of Tinder dates, but it was like Jean's Tinder dates. It was ridiculous. But I've only been on one Tinder date. That's been my own Tinder guy. And it wasn't, I wouldn't even consider it a Tinder date to be fair. And the only reason why I went on that Tinder date was because it was 4 a.m. in the morning and all the places had already closed. And my friend and I were like, oh, what are we gonna do? So we're like, oh, let's just like text the Tinder guy. And then he came with his friend. But the whole time, my friend and I were just talking to each other. They thought we were like insane because we were talking in German. We were like, crazy then eventually we just told them we had to go to the bathroom and left now i don't have tinder anymore i love windsurfing it's the my favorite sport and my favorite hobby i just love it it's so much fun my mom and i have a super close relationship she is my best friend and we talk a lot she's so supportive she's the best she's the best I have been to all continents except for antarctica where i want to go so i can say that i've been to all continents i hate bras. I don't know who invented them, but I hate them. They're so uncomfortable. Never wear them. I am 166 centimeters tall and I shrank. I was taller when I was 15 years old. I shrank. I'm like an old person. My star sign is Cancer. I'm born in July. And the funny thing is my sister's star sign is Scorpio. And when you Google the correlation between like different star signs, Scorpio and Cancer are like a match made in heaven. So I think that's why we get along really well. In my yearbook, I wrote the quote, everything happens for a reason. Wait, I have to find it. I can't believe I didn't remember it. It's a bit embarrassing if I'm honest. This quote says, eventually all pieces fall into place. Until then, laugh at the confusion, live in the moment, and know that everything happens for a reason. Behind everything, there's a reason, even if you don't know it yet. And I truly believe there's a plan for us. We just don't know it yet. And we just gotta keep doing what we're doing and believe in ourselves. And eventually we'll figure it out. And I think this is the perfect place to end the video. So I hope you liked this little 30 facts about me. I think, it, I don't even know if it was 30 facts. Let me know what else you wanna see. Thank you guys for watching. And let me know a fun fact about you in the comments.